Fact or myth? Does swallowing semen give you as much vitamin C as an orange? Or as much protein as an egg? Does eating pineapple make your semen taste any better? Hey guys, I'm Dr. Robert Chan, a urologist practicing in sunny California. On this channel, my goal is to enlighten people about different medical topics in the scope of urology. I hope you learned something today that you can share with your family, friends, or partners. From my experience as a urologist, I have patients who are genuinely very curious about their reproductive systems, but just don't actually know very much about them. So in this video, I'm going to cover some of the basics about semen. We are going to examine these three claims and determine whether they are fact or myth. Claim number one, does eating semen give you as much vitamin C as an orange? Semen does have a lot of vitamins and minerals in it, but it really depends on how much we are talking about. One load of semen? Absolutely not. But several hundred? Now that's a different conversation. Semen is composed of a few different things. Sperm, prostaglandin, protein, vitamins, minerals, and some other things that are probably a little bit too nitty gritty to talk about. There are some other components of semen, but I don't want to bog you down in some of the nitty gritty details. Roughly 70% of semen is produced in the seminal vesicles, hence the name. 25% comes from the prostate gland, 4% comes from the testicles, and then less than 1% comes from the bulbal urethral glands. The normal semen volume per ejaculate is about 1.5 milliliters, give or take. Well, let's move on to the next claim. Does eating semen give you as much protein as an egg white? It will actually probably take about half a cup of semen to equal the protein content found in an egg white. That's a lot. Come on, guys. Cooking isn't that bad. Let's talk a little bit about where the components of semen come from. So the seminal vesicles are responsible for the part of semen that gives energy to the sperm. The food source for sperm is something called fructose, which is a type of sugar. Now the seminal vesicles are attached to the prostate and then together these come out the ejaculatory duct. We also see something called prostaglandins released from here as well. What this helps with is the immune response of the woman uh, so that it doesn't recognize the sperm so much as an invader. What's interesting about sperm is that it only has half the number of chromosomes as the rest of the body. Normally there's 46 chromosomes in a person. Half of it comes from mom, half of it comes from dad, but in sperm, there's only 23 chromosomes. Next, let's talk about the prostate gland. The prostate contributes a lot of important things to semen. But the one that we'll focus on is zinc. Zinc helps stabilize the sperm. And it's been found that people who are deficient in it sometimes have infertility issues. Next, let's talk about the testicles, where as you probably know, this is where sperm is made. There's a path that the sperm have to travel through to get from the testicles to the tip of the penis. And it's kind of a long one. I use this monomic seven up to remember all the components of it. S stands for seminiferous tubules. E stands for epididymis. D stands for vas. E is the ejaculatory duct. N is just nothing. It's just kind of a placeholder, but it, it's good for the monomic. U stands for urethra. And then finally, P stands for penis. So if you want to re remember the path of the sperm, just remember the monomic. 7 up. Finally, there's the bubble urethral gland. This is where the pre-ejaculate comes from. And what this is used for is it helps lubricate the vagina and helps the sperm swim more freely. Now let's talk about the last claim. Does eating pineapple make someone's semen taste sweeter? Of all the questions that we've discussed, this one seems the most plausible. Now there are no hard 
studies supporting this claim. But on the other hand, there's none that deny it either. On top of pineapples, there are some other things that are reported to alter the taste or improve the taste of semen. Now these include celery, parsley, wheatgrass, cinnamon, nutmeg, papaya, and oranges. Now, if you've noticed any difference, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. So we've established that there is some nutritional value to semen. There's a little bit of protein, some vitamins, but the question is, is it safe or healthy to eat this stuff? Assuming that both partners do not have any sexually transmitted diseases or allergies to sperm, then it's probably safe to do so. You can actually transmit sexually transmitted diseases through swallowing semen, so don't encourage it. A woman cannot get pregnant from swallowing semen. And the main takeaway from this whole video is that semen does have some protein, but you probably have to eat gallons of it to actually derive any nutritional benefit from it. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if you've heard any other rumors about eating semen. And maybe we'll take a look at these in future videos. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. Have an awesome day.